in the last lesson we were studying Ezekiel 36 and we noticed that it was at the cross that we receive a new heart. As we come to the cross of Jesus Christ, we receive three important things. And let's look at them briefly again. At the cross, we receive cleansing from all sin and idolatry. That's Ezekiel 36, 25. At the cross, we receive a new heart and a new spirit. And that's verse 30, uh, 26. And at the cross, we receive the Spirit of God who comes to live in us. So these are three really important things that happen to us at the cross of Jesus. And today, let's notice the results of God giving us a new heart. The results of God giving us a new heart. And so in order to do that, let's look again at Ezekiel 36. And if we look at verse 27, first of all, it says that he will put his spirit within us. And then it says, and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. Okay, so the first one is that we are given this inner desire to obey God. We are given an inner desire to obey God. We want to walk in his statutes. That means we want to live in obedience to God. Now, of course, this truly is a heart change. I mean, we can see that if we look in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. If you would, just turn there with me if you are following along in your Bible. If not, you can just watch right here. Ephesians, chapter 2, starting at verse 1, says, And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in once in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. So, we remember what it was like to walk in sins, to take great delight in sinning, to live for passion and for pleasure. And this is what it's like to be dead to God with a heart of stone as children of wrath. But you know that God made an escape from the coming judgment, a way to be free from condemnation, a way out of the wrath to come. If we look at the cross, we see that Jesus was put in our place. He was judged for our sin. He was condemned instead of us. And he took God's wrath for us so that we escape it. And right here at the cross is where our hearts are changed. In other words, as we see Jesus suffering for our wrongs and being wounded for our sins, we begin to think differently about sin. Now sin is no longer sparkly and alluring. Now we see sin as ugly, horrifically painful, deadly even. And we find that in our hearts a seed of hatred for sin is planted. A desire enters that we begin to obey God. We begin to walk in that obedience, learning what pleases the Lord. And we, we actually begin taking up our own cross and following Jesus. Now, with anything that's new, there's a learning curve. In the beginning, we stumble and fall, but we, we mature and we begin to grow and we begin to evidence that there truly is a change of desire within us. We once walked in disobedience. Now we find that our heart's desire is to obey God. God's Spirit is within us, moving us, causing us to live differently, to walk differently, to obey from the heart. So the first way to tell if we have a new heart is that we have an inner desire to obey God. So stop a minute and ask yourself, as I'm doing, honestly, is it actually and truly my desire to obey God? Now, secondly, we can know if we have a new heart if we hate our previous life of sin. 
Or we might even say we hate ourselves for our life of sin. Look at Ezekiel 36, and we'll come down here to verse 21. Ezekiel 36 and verse 21. And that says, or sorry, verse 31, Ezekiel 36, 31. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good, and you will loathe yourselves for your iniquities and your abominations. You see, when we look at the cross, we see that God hates sin so much that he actually killed it. He crucified our sin. Remember, Jesus became sin for us, and then he died. God crucified our sin. He pierced it through with holes, and he hung it up to die. He bled it out. And then he buried it in a grave and rolled a rock over it, obliterating it forever. God hates sin, and with a new heart, we call our sins what they really were, an abomination. Now, this word abomination, it just means something detestable or repulsive. Well, that's a heart change, right? This, this hatred of sin, it leads us to turn from it with passion and with power, and we we begin to crucify our own lusts on the cross of Christ. We put to death whatever belongs to our earthly nature. We take up our cross and we follow Jesus on the narrow road. Now, of course it's true. We still fall and we continue to be tempted in various ways. That's all true, even for a person with a new heart. Why? Because we still have flesh and we will until the day we die. But the reality is that our desires are changing. Our passions and loves, the deepest part of us, is changing. The results of God giving us a new heart are an inner desire to obey God and that we discover that we hate our previous life of sin.